OpenAI has introduced SearchGPT, a prototype of new search features designed to combine the strength of OpenAI's models with information from the web to give you fast and timely answers with clear and relevant sources. They are launching to a small group of users and publishers to get feedback. While this prototype is temporary, they plan to integrate the best of these features directly into ChatGPT in the future. If you're interested in trying the prototype, sign up for the waitlist. I have already joined the waitlist but have yet to receive any email, but once I get it, I will be giving a detailed explanation of the experience. But what do we know from what OpenAI has said? According to OpenAI, they believe that by enhancing the conversational capabilities of models with real-time information from the web, finding what you're looking for can be faster and easier. So unlike the way you ask GPT for a question and it gives you an answer using several links from the internet, the new approach is designed to give you answers immediately. Also, it will have the latest information and does not have a time limit to the information that they can give you. You know like how their models always provide answers that are not up to date since it does not have access to the internet. Also with the new feature, they are saying you can be able to ask a follow-up question which will seem like having a conversation with a person but with real-time updates. However, they claim that the method is not aimed at replacing publishers, but rather to augment the abilities of users to interact with materials from publishers. They are working closely with publishers to enhance this experience by highlighting high-quality content in a conversational interface with multiple opportunities for users to engage. SearchGPT is designed to help users connect with publishers by prominently citing and linking to them in searches. Responses have clear, inline, named attribution and links so users know where information is coming from and can quickly engage with even more results in a sidebar with source links. This to me seems like OpenAI trying something that other models have been doing for a long time. Models like Gemini and Llama 3 give you the latest information from the internet while OpenAI has always had answers that are a few months out of date. In addition to launching the SearchGPT prototype, they are also launching a way for publishers to manage how they appear in SearchGPT, so publishers have more choices. Importantly, SearchGPT is about search and is separate from training OpenAI's generative AI foundation models. Sites can be surfaced in search results even if they opt out of generative AI training. I am curious as to what you have to say about this and I will be glad to see your comments down below. Now to other news, Google has announced their recent breakthroughs in math models. Yes, that is Alpha Geometry 2 and Alpha Proof. They announced that breakthrough models Alpha Proof and Alpha Geometry 2 were able to solve advanced reasoning problems in mathematics. They announced Alpha Proof, a new reinforcement learning based system for formal math reasoning, and Alpha Geometry 2, an improved version of their geometry solving AI system. Together, these systems solved four out of six problems from this year's International Mathematical Olympiad IMO, achieving the same level as a silver medalist in the competition for the first time. The IMO is the oldest, largest, and most prestigious competition for young mathematicians, held annually since 1959. Each year, elite pre-college mathematicians train, sometimes for thousands of hours, to solve six exceptionally difficult problems in algebra, combinatorics, geometry, and number theory. Many of the winners of the Fields Medal, one of the highest honors for mathematicians, have represented their country at the IMO. More recently, the annual IMO competition has also become widely recognized as a grand challenge in machine learning and an aspirational benchmark for measuring an AI system's advanced mathematical reasoning capabilities. This year, Google applied their combined AI system to the competition problems provided by the IMO organizers. Their solutions were scored according to the IMO's point awarding rules by prominent mathematicians. First, the problems were manually translated into formal mathematical language for their systems to understand. In the official competition, students submit answers in two sessions of 4.5 hours each. The two model systems solved one problem within minutes and took up to three days to solve the others. AlphaProof solved two algebra problems and one number theory problem by determining the answer and proving it was correct. This included the hardest problem in the competition solved by only five contestants at this year's IMO. Alpha Geometry 2 proved the geometry problem, while the two combinatorics problems remained unsolved. Each of the six problems can earn seven points, with a total maximum of 42. Google's AI system achieved a final score of 28 points, 
earning a perfect score on each problem solved, equivalent to the top end of the silver medal category. This year, the gold medal threshold starts at 29 points and was achieved by 58 of 609 contestants at the official competition. According to Google, AlphaProof is a system that trains itself to prove mathematical statements in the formal language Lean. For those who do not know, Lean is a functional programming language that makes it easy to write correct and maintainable code which also can be used as an interactive theorem prover. AlphaProof couples a pre-trained language model with the AlphaZero reinforcement learning algorithm which previously taught itself how to master the games of chess, shogi, and go. When presented with a problem, AlphaProof generates solution candidates and then proves or disproves them by searching over possible proof steps in Lean. Each proof that was found and verified is used to reinforce AlphaProof's language model, enhancing its ability to solve subsequent, more challenging problems. AlphaProof was trained for the IMO by proving or disproving millions of problems, covering a wide range of difficulties and mathematical topic areas over a period of weeks leading up to the competition. The training loop was also applied during the contest, reinforcing proofs of self-generated variations of the contest problems until a full solution could be found. Alpha Geometry 2 is a significantly improved version of Alpha Geometry. It's a neurosymbolic hybrid system in which the language model was based on Gemini and trained from scratch on an order of magnitude more synthetic data than its predecessor. This helped the model tackle much more challenging geometry problems, including problems about the movements of objects and equations of angles, ratios, or distances. Alpha Geometry 2 employs a symbolic engine that is two orders of magnitude faster than its predecessor. When presented with a new problem, a novel knowledge-sharing mechanism is used to enable advanced combinations of different search trees to tackle more complex problems. Before this year's competition, Alpha Geometry 2 could solve 83% of all historical IMO geometry problems from the past 25 years, compared to the 53% rate achieved by its predecessor. For IMO 2024, Alpha Geometry 2 solved problem 4 within 19 seconds after receiving its formalization. Now I must say that AI models are producing confusing results when it comes to mathematics reasoning. Last week, all the major models could not tell which is bigger between 9.11 and 9.9. .9. Claude AI, GPT-4, and Gemini all claimed that 9.11 was bigger than 9.9. .9. This brings us to the question of whether language models are the way to AGI. Consider that these two models can solve the toughest math questions with ease while language models cannot solve basic reasoning problems. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. I believe that AGI might come as a result of different models rather than language models. And I believe that these models show that language models are not the only way of approaching AGI. If you have a different opinion, please share it. Thank you and see you next time.